Hello everyone, in this video I will show you a few solutions to fix Warzone 2 Season 3 Direct X error. So please follow the steps with me and let's jump into it. On your keyboard, press Windows key and R to open up Run. And then type in the temp and click OK. So we need to delete all these temporary files in here. Skip the ones that cannot be deleted. Open up run again by pressing Windows key and R. Type in there percent temp percent and type OK. We need to do the same thing again, deleting all these temporary files. And next, open the given link in the video description for Microsoft Visual C++ to download one of these ones according to your Windows type. In my case, it's x64, so I'm just going to download this one. We also need to download DirectX and User Runtime Web Installer. The link will be in the description to access this website. Once the download is completed, open it up. The setup might take a bit of time, so you need to be patient. And once it's completed, then you need to restart your computer. If it's still no lock for you, then in your Discord setting, head over to the game overlay and make sure to disable in-game overlay in here. And also in your AMD graphics card settings, make sure to disable all these options. And next solution, open up the command prompt. So just go to search and type in there CMD and make sure to run it as administrator. Type this command in the command prompt, SFC space forward slash scan now, and then press enter. If there are any bugs on your computer, this command will repair it. Once the previous command is completed, you can also try to use these commands. So all you need to do is just copy all these commands one by one and paste them in the command prompt. So all you need to do is just copy all these commands one by one and paste them in the command prompt. And after that, go to search bar and type view advanced system settings and open it up. On the top select advanced tab, then click on settings. Advanced tab again in here and click on change. On the top uncheck this one, automatically manage paging file size for all drivers and then select the driver type that you're using for your games. After that, select custom size. In here, for initial size, we need to make sure to put the recommended value, which is in my case is 1868. And then after that, you need to make sure to multiply this one by 1.5. So open up your calculator. So in my case, I will type 1868 times 1.5. And my maximum size will be 2802. So once you input your initial size and maximum size, then click on set and OK. Then it will ask you to restart your computer. So make sure to restart your computer and after that, hopefully it should be working fine. And that's all. By the way, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please consider supporting me and subscribing for more videos. Thanks for watching.